diary. To be honest, I'm a bit confused. First, Solfus is completely obnoxious, he ignores me, writes on his laptop that he likes somebody else, and then the other day, suddenly, he seemed to be the same guy that I was in love with all last year. Yeah, this personification task lasted the entire day. Come on, let's go. Hm? Hm? Solfus. <sighs> Your eyes, they look like you still have feelings for me. It was as if, as if he wanted to tell me something. I wanted to tell you how I really feel, Wrath, but I can't, and I won't. Not while your mother is in danger. If I don't ignore you, Blue and her two bosses will harm your mother. Wow, dude, you're still in bed? We're late for class. Why are you in such a hurry to get there today? Why do you think? So I can go back to sleep. Did you check your class schedule? Of course not. Well, today we have diabolical history with Professor Gnosis all day. That old man is half blind, so while he gives his super boring lecture, I'll have a chance to settle in for a long, restful nap. <laughs> now it all makes sense. Five hours of angelic history? What will the professors talk about for that long? It's history, <laughs> so I guess she'll be telling us a story, won't that be great? <laughs> well, let's hope at least it's an interesting story. It's huh? much more than that, Uri. What I will tell you today is the story of the only rule that we angels and our opponents, the devils, are bound by eternal law to respect. Are you talking about the veto? That's right, Raph. Hmm? Pay attention. <laughs> the history of the veto, my little devils, is ancient history. Not as ancient as he is. <laughs> this old boring story is perfect for taking a nap. A story that begins with the greatest war of all time. A war? Well, maybe I can keep my eyes open a little longer. Did you say something, Gas? No, nothing. Hmm, all right. I'll commence. It all began in the early mists of time with the war of a thousand centuries. Huh? My spy bell is ringing. That means your terrestrial's in trouble. What are you waiting for? Fly to her! I cannot believe my luck for once the lesson was getting interesting. Don't worry, I'll take notes for you. Huh? I was just kidding. Catherine needs my help. Then go. There is no more important duty for an angel than guarding your earthly one. <sighs> hmm. Wait, don't forget your book. <sighs> It might be useful. You're right. I don't know Catherine that well, and the book has everything I need to know. Back to work, angels. Where did I leave off? The War of a Thousand Centuries. Thank you, Uri. But before we start, let me ask you a question first. Can good coexist with evil? Never, Never ever! Do you believe that evil can tolerate good? No, no way. way! Precisely right. That's the reason why the war between angels and devils broke out. They couldn't stand each other. Well, I think it's just normal. I couldn't even stand looking at those silly little do-gooders. And it's always been that way. Devils against angels, angels against devils, in a war that went on for over a millennium. Our brave diabolical troops faced the guardian angels on the field of battle. 
And the angelic hosts rejected the blows of our evil enemies without fear. Of course, each army was led by a general. Steal yourselves, angels. We will drive the devils out of this land. As you command, General Cassidy. My devil warriors, let your evil courage fill your horns and strike out against those deluded angels. Hooray for General Cabral! Hooray! Are you saying that before he came here, Professor Cabral was the commander-in-chief of the evil armies? That's right, and he was the bravest general our army has ever had. Fantastic! He must have defeated Cassidy, the leader of the angels. Kabiria, you're both right and wrong. Kubral would win one battle, but then Cassidy would turn around and win the next. And so it went on and on, year after year, century after century. So then the war was a standoff. Then they never sat down? No, sweet, a standoff. <laughs> it means that neither side was ever able to defeat the other side. It was, in fact, angels, a perfect deadlock. And since the forces of good and evil were so busy relentlessly battling each other, there was no one to take care of the problems happening on Earth. Oh, that sounds like the bell for recess. Are you all curious as to how the story ends? This history is fascinating. It's the most interesting class we've ever had. Yeah, and it's all thanks to you, Professor. You're really good at telling the story. I'm very happy that you like it. But now you should go stretch your wings. We'll resume after recess. There is still much of the story to tell. Who knows what problem Catherine has? I know! <gasps> You're the only problem Catherine has. <laughs> I'm amazed you were able to get here in time. With all that extra weight you're toting around, I'd think it would take you longer. Wait? What weight? This is all muscle. <laughs> huh? Muscles. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> I have huh? no time to waste with you. I have to get down there and guard my terrestrial. And I have to get down there and tempt that terrestrial. Uh, huh? But she's sleeping. Lucky her. Come on, Catherine. Time for you to get up and pack your suitcase. Uh, okay. Come on, Catherine. Give us a hand with Milo. We're trying to get out of here. Dad said that you would help me get ready to go. Milo, just lay down. <sighs> Her brother fell asleep too. That's exactly what I would do in that situation. It's never the wrong time to nap. Come on, Catherine, we're leaving soon. Okay, anything you say, Mom. Oh, uh, Mom? Who was the first woman? Her mother. Catherine, are you still in bed? We're already loading up the car. Who's he? Her father, right? Same as before. Are you kidding me? No one can have more than one mom and one dad. <sighs> You're way behind as usual. You haven't studied Catherine's book, have you? Of course I didn't study it. See? This is Catherine's entire family. Her father and her mother are divorced. He married mother number two, and she married dad number two, and so now the four of them... Wait, slow down. My head is spinning. It's not difficult and not so strange. It's pretty common for terrestrial parents to separate and then marry other people, and then the family is extended. Kind of like your belly, now that I think of it. Mm, hilarious. But I still really don't see what her problem is. Hmm. I think I'll do a little investigating. Hey, where are you going? Huh? Huh? I think that's everything. So what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Huh? What exactly are they doing? You heard them. They're going away on vacation. But they're leaving Catherine and Milo behind. Huh? huh? But I don't understand. If neither angels nor devils could win the war and fought over and over, how did the war ever come to an end? That's actually a good question. And it huh? deserves a better answer. Both the good and evil sides understood that the war would end after a thousand centuries when the Comet of Fate came by. The Comet of Fate? That's what I said, Raf. The Comet is the signal of destiny that roams the skies. And it's said that every time it comes around, the history of the universe changes forever. When the Comet of Fate passed by, it signaled that the war would end. If the devils had won then, 
the angels would disappear and the earth would be evil forever under devil rule. But if the angels had been victorious, we would be the ones to disappear and the earth would be a completely good world. That's horrible. A good world? So good, it makes me sick. She's waking up. <sighs> about time, it's almost noon. That's right. In fact, it's just about time for my lunch. Come on, Milo, we gotta get up. We gotta get out of here, it's getting late. And I still have to finish packing my suitcase. Our parents are going to be furious. <laughs> Fool, they're already gone. Shut up, that's nothing to laugh at. Says you. Milo, did you happen to hear that? I don't hear anything. Right. That's what I mean. Our house is never ever this quiet when everyone is here. Huh? Hello? Dad? But how could that... Yes, I understand. Bye. Speak to you later. I guess. That was Dad. Mine or yours? Both. They drove to the airport without us. Can you believe it? He said that they didn't notice until they had already boarded the plane. But they're coming back, right? They're taking the first flight back tomorrow. And what do we do till tomorrow? Let's see. Since they left us alone here by ourselves, let's do whatever we want to do. No, no, no. You must be good and watch over your little brother. Yes, yes, yes. Take the whole day and get into some trouble. Stop it. I won't let you tempt Catherine into something evil. Well, we'll see about that. I'll be waiting for you in the challenge room. See ya! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Ghostville! That sounds bad. Yeah, for once I agree with you. Moment to grow up is there. 